Imagine this was your foot. Every day, waking up to the pain, humiliation, and the fear of being socially ostracized because of a disfigured and deformed foot that you may not be able to walk on. This is podoconiosis. It is a tropical disease affecting approximately 4 million people around the world. Podo generally occurs in the poor and uneducated parts of the world where access to everyday luxuries such as shoes and clean water are limited. In these regions, the superstition that surrounds the disease can keep a person with Podo out of school, mosque, church, and society. It is, surprisingly, almost completely unheard of. There are, however, ways to help prevent and treat this horrendous disease. Ethiopia is the home to one million podoconiosis patients and is the focus of our efforts to treat and prevent this disease. Podoconiosis is a type of elephantiasis, but it's not a, an infection. It's caused by a fiber that's in the soil, typically in areas of high elevation, high rainfall, and in very low income. Because of this low income, people cannot afford to buy shoes. Their feet are exposed to this soil. With time, this fiber penetrates the skin, causes itching, it travels up the leg, scars the lymphatics, and this leads to massive swelling of the legs to the point where many people find it difficult to walk, it's difficult for them to be productive. If the skin breaks down, they can develop secondary infections. This can be so severe that ultimately their feet and even their legs will have to be amputated. Now if a child has a parent or an elder sibling with this disease, their chances of contracting the disease are five times greater than the general population. Now the disease can be treated, but more important than treatment is prevention. And if we can simply provide good hygiene for these children and shoes, it's totally preventable. These children are receiving all that is required to prevent podoconiosis, shoes. Unfortunately, in rural villages, people don't have the money or the access to these luxuries which we take for granted every day. Tropical Health Alliance Foundation and Tom Shoes are leading the way to provide the rural population of Ethiopia with shoes for the treatment and prevention of this disease. Now the interesting thing about podoconiosis is also the thing that makes it um, sad but very challenging. And that's the fact that so few people have ever heard of the disease. But what's exciting is that now in Ethiopia there are many good organizations we're stepping up to the plate and they're tackling it. And I think particularly of the Daughters of Charity and Tropical Health Alliance Foundation, working in the western part of the country. The Mossy Foot Project has been working for several years in the south and they're doing a terrific work. And the Orthodox Church now is setting up clinics to treat these people. But I think the thing that excites us the most is that now Tom's Shoes has uh, joined this collaboration and their commitment is that if we find the, the patients with the disease they will step in and provide shoes for their children and what that means is that if we treat it they will prevent it and simply by providing shoes for these children within one generation we can drive through these areas and see very little of the disease. In its early stages, podoconiosis is entirely curable. As the disease advances, it becomes more and more difficult to regain a normal looking foot. People will often remove themselves from society because of the grotesque disfigurement and smell associated with the disease. Now the good news about podoconiosis is how extremely simple it really is to treat. And in fact, with just a minimal amount of education, people can actually treat themselves. However, there's seven things that are needed. One is a basin. Two is dilute bleach for people to wash their feet in. Three is a simple bar of soap. Four is antibiotic ointment for those who have skin infection. 
And then three more things. One is a pressure dressing to wear at night, and a pair of socks and a pair of shoes to wear during the day. And with these simple seven basic items, within several months, most people's swelling can be brought back to the point where they can regain their dignity and walk with pride in their community. The fight against poto may seem daunting, but with sufficient funding and research, podoconiosis could become non-existent within 20 years. Meeting this goal will require the collaborative efforts of researchers, frontline organizations, and of course, you. Today, we are asking you to share your time and resources to help stop this disease. To find out how you can help fight and spread the word about podoconiosis, contact one of these organizations.